Looking back on it, are you happy that your old school kicked you out? I'm beyond happy. Before Balin Levine would change his channel name from Benitez to his full name and become famous online, known for Are Those Nacho Cheese, being a Shrek super fan, and his alias of Ben Dover. Before Balin Levine would clock in 1.2 million subscribers on YouTube, over 500,000 followers on Instagram, and 20,000 followers on Twitter at the time of this recording. Before Balin Levine would collab with Wide Neck, Long Neck, Nelk, and meet his idol Lil Yachty. Let's go, good times! Ah! Good times. There's a whole generation of kids out there with the sole goal of becoming YouTube famous. And Baylin Levine, well he was one of those kids and it actually resulted in him getting kicked out of his high school. Like for real. Talk about sacrifice. So I got called in to my school's office a couple weeks ago and they brought me in and they told me I'm out. They told me I could either go to disciplinary court, get expelled, or I could just drop out, leave sign papers that I can never return on the property. After starting up his YouTube channel at only 17 years old, well, Balin has created a thriving business and a fan base, and he's defying all the naysayers who told him that a YouTube career, well, it wasn't a real job. He also helped me out with this video and he told me, ever since I was little, like eight years old, I would make homemade movies. When people ask me what I wanted to be when I grew up, I would say a director. In a way, that's exactly what I'm doing now. YouTube has given many people like myself the ability to make a new type of entertainment for the world as it has become TV for the younger generation. I can't argue with him on that one and the kid has plugged away long and hard. Now he also told me this. I literally remember watching your series before they were famous 24 seven. I was so intrigued by how normal ass people could become stars. I wanted it so badly. All right, this kid, he knows how to butter me up. So let's get into his story here for you on Before They're Famous. My name's Michael McCredden. Be sure to let us know who we're featuring next in the comments down below. And uh, by the way, while making this video, I couldn't help but notice that Balin, he looks a whole lot like James Charles' older brother. Is it just me or do you see it as well? Let me know if you do by hitting that like button right now. I mean no shade, I just think the resemblance is uncanny. And then later they'll collab, they'll do a makeup thing together and everyone will think they're twins. Alright, let's get into this video. Hey, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell. Boom! Where'd you learn to moan like that, says Max Jackson. I've always had it, ever since I was little. Watch this. Oh my. Balin Lowell Levine was born on October 30th, 2000 in Roswell, Georgia, and he grew up just 30 minutes away in Woodstock, Georgia, which is the hometown of The Walking Dead star Chandler Riggs and rapper Rich the Kid. Okay, X has hit those lyrics in Young Brads. Yeah, but X is better, so thumbs down. Sorry. Well, he gave 6 9 a thumbs down. Now, I got a funny feeling that Dad, he ain't a big fan of Rich the Kid. Certainly not Takashi. His father, Adam, he works in medical sales, and his mom, Crystal, well, she was a stay-at-home mom. Now, he also has a little sister named Lila. Now, Balin's parents, they always had a strong inclination for education and only believed that the true route to success, well, it was through college or university. Now, they even invested in private school for their kids, but the education system and Balin's ambitions to be a performer, well, these were two things that were constantly at war with one another. Now, the kid, he bounced around between a number of schools. First, he was at a private school known as High Meadows, but he kept getting in trouble, so his parents, they pulled him out, and then they enrolled him at a local elementary school, which is known as Mountain Road Elementary. Now, I actually found this article online of him making the news for raising some money for a good cause while at school, so I guess he wasn't that much of a hellraiser. Or at least he knew how to play the press at an early age. Now he stayed there from the second to the fifth grade, but he kept getting in trouble. Now his parents, they feared he was gonna start hanging out with the wrong crowd, so they switched him to a charter school named Cherokee Charter Academy. And this is where he spent his middle school years. Back in the day in elementary school, all these kids would steal, or not elementary school, like middle school, all these kids would steal from gas stations. Never have. Now while everyone else was shoplifting, well Balin, he befriended the gas station owner, Mr. Khan, and this guy's actually become a recurring character in his videos. We were wondering, if we paid for you, could we take you out to dinner? Yeah, no, you, you uh, thanks for that, but the question is you always work seven days in a week. And that's soon gonna change, Mr. Khan. Once we get the money, you yeah. get to quit this job. Speaking on the other schools he attended, he told me, CCA was basically like a free private school and was full of students whose parents were not happy with the public education system. It was during these years that I took an ADHD medication and stopped getting in trouble. I was actually getting the highest grades in my class and won so many academic awards. 
My parents thought I had finally become this A plus scholar kid. So they had me apply to a super good private Catholic college prep high school. I was accepted, but it's funny to me now because I'm not even Catholic. They weren't loaded with money to blow on schooling, and I didn't even end up going to college. In the end, I know they were just wanting me to further my education because they believed it was the path that would have guaranteed success in life. Despite his parents wanting so much for him to succeed in the education system, well, his YouTube channel and his viral pranks, they would end up getting kicked out of school. We're not at that part of the story just yet. Now eventually he grew tired of taking the ADHD medication and he told me, Once I started on the lower dose, I really started to f around and find a lot of the jokes you see on the channel today. That's where the Shrek stuff started and everything. Outside of school while Balin, he enjoyed making homemade movies, playing airsoft, ding dong ditching, pranking his friends at sleepovers, and of course messing around in malls and Walmarts. Okay, okay let's you go. You need to put the camera away. I guess. Yeah, just pause the game. Thanks guys. Of course. How does it let us go every time? <laughs> I'm not joking, last week we talked our way out of it and this time we talked our way out of it. There's a whole party up here. Oh yeah, we got them all. <laughs> <laughs> he also worked as a YMCA counselor from his freshman year of high school through to his senior year. And speaking on this job, he told me, One of my co-workers said she would have fired me if it weren't for the kids loving me so much. One time they had all the camps vote on their favorite counselor, and I won. It was a good feeling knowing how much I meant to them. Now he was always a YouTube prankster in the making, but he had just yet put pen to paper, so to speak. So let's get into his online career. Now speaking with the online odyssey, he had this to say. During my junior year of high school, when everyone was talking about college and what they wanted to do for a living, I realized that I just could not see myself seated behind a desk for another four years of schooling. My whole life, I have always been doing that type of stuff, just not filming it. When I saw that people could actually make a living by recording themselves, I was inspired to start my own YouTube channel. So that's when he kicked off his original YouTube channel, which was titled Benitez in December of 2017. Now I asked him to explain to me that name, so he stated, Benitez comes from one of the campers I had when I was a camp counselor during my high school years. Sebastian Benitez, who is now in the videos all the time. When my friends and I were thinking of names for the channel, we didn't want to use any of our real names because we were scared colleges or future jobs could view the channel negatively. That's when we thought of Benitez because Sebas, well he represented everything we believed and lived by. He's positive, kind, real, doesn't care about being cool, loves Shrek, loves YouTube, loves to mess around. He invested $500 on a camera and he split half with a friend on $100 wireless mics and they got to work. Now initially he found growth on Instagram where he would send clips of himself to meme pages in hopes of getting reposted. Now he explained to me, eventually I started gaining followers when small meme pages post my clips and then bigger ones would steal them to repost. This is exactly what happened when a meme page with 1 million followers, Squidward Memes, well they posted Nacho Cheese video. Now I don't know why that video cracks me up, but it does. Now someone who didn't appreciate this was the staff at his school and his peers' parents. Now after giving him credit on his creativity and his humorous videos, well they had a change of heart and they decided to kick him out of school during the summer before his senior year. It was literally a lie because he said it was okay and it would have been it would have been fair if he called me in and he was like, never mind, it's not okay, delete the channel and you don't have to and Delete the channel and you can stay. If you don't, I know I said it was okay earlier, but if you don't, you have to leave. That would have been fair. So that happens. I'm, I, I text my friends. I'm like, I, I, I'm, I'm gone. Everyone's freaking out. Then he starts calling in my friends and he's interviewing my friends. My friends had to go to disciplinary court. From there, he would have to finish up high school online while pouring all his energy into making videos and changing the name of the channel to his given name rather than Benitez. Don't worry, that's still like his slogan. You can still buy merch under the Benitez brand. In March of 2019, he hit 100,000 subscribers. In October, it was 300K. Then 500,000 subscribers in January of 2020. Then in June of this year, he hit 1 million subscribers and the kid, he's still growing fast. Dan Levine for passing 1 million subscribers, baby. Damn, dude. And to you guys, thank you so much. The loyalty, you know, I never ask, I never say like sub, comment, like, like any of that. You guys just... So many comments to support. Mom's over there recording when we were literally filming it. Now we'd soon find some signs that things were going in the right direction when he got not only to meet his longtime idol Lil Yachty, but he also joined him on stage after dressing up as the rapper at one of his concerts. Yachty was like, oh, <laughs> and I got up there and I was literally like, my mouth is open. I dabbed him up. I was like, oh my God. This is actually happening. Now previously to go into that show, he had told himself and all his friends that he would get up on stage and he did just that. 
Now the two have seemed to have hit it off because I've recently seen him working out with Lil Yachty. So yeah, kids, you know, if you just manifest these kind of things, they can happen. But if, uh, if Balin wants to, you know, get jacked up, he's gonna have to manifest really, really hard, just saying. Now his next big collab, it was with his other idol, the Nelk Boys, who randomly commented on one of his videos, and then they followed him on Instagram. Now they hit it off in the DMs and they told him that when he came out to LA, well, they would work with him on a collab. Now Balin's also a positive role model for his legion of fans because he promotes sobriety, which I think is pretty cool. We wish him all the best, but it hasn't been all good news. Now he did pull a prank where he took an air mattress and he slept in the middle of a store, which nearly got the kid arrested. But I guess you gotta do what you gotta do to get them views. And when I asked Balin if he had any closing words for me, well he told me, don't let anyone tell you that your dream is impossible. Go after what you want in life and don't let anything stop you. Keep it humble, keep good people around you and always do the right thing. It's so important. So many people attain their dreams and then grow an ego. Remember what it was like to be that person that had nothing before. I'm so thankful for all my fans. We have built something so special. They are such kind people, care for me so much, and are hilarious. I love you guys. Thank you for changing my life. As for the rest of the story, well, I think we're going to wrap this one up here because this is before they're famous. Now, thanks to Balin for helping us out with this video. And uh, you can check out that verified creator badge that we put in the thumbnail because we're working with a lot of creators and artists these days. And that's how you know if they've like approved these videos. So yeah, you know, big changes coming all around. All right, Michael, take it away. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Now, we drop a new video each and every day, so here's a recent drop that you might enjoy. We handpicked that one for you because if you like this video, you'll probably like that. We also got playlists like over here, so click on that if you want to see a whole list of a bunch of videos we've dropped in the past. And if you're new to the Fame Gang, be sure to subscribe and turn on them post notifications, and I'll see you guys in another video. Boom!